Hi, my name is Will Keane from the Edson Corporation and I'm going to show you how to make up the cable, the rudder post end of the chain and wire rope assembly uh, for the tensioning of the wire at the quadrant or radial drive wheel end of the steering system. I've slackened the bolts on these two wire rope clamps and slid them on the wire so that they are there and free running up and down the wire. I am then going to take the wire and run it around the thimble I'm going to let one of these wire rope clamps just slide out of the way while I make a loop. And then I carefully take the saddle of the wire rope clamp and keep that on the working end of the line. In the U, I slide over the tail of, of the wire. And I bring that clamp in nice and tight, keeping the wire in the grooves of the, of the thimble that go around the take up eye so it looks like so. Holding it in place, pinching it with my fingers, I then get it as tight as I can with my fingers, and then I take the appropriate size wrench and start adding some tension to the, to the cable clamp. What I'm trying to do is to get one cable clamp in place to hold that wire nice and steady. You'll notice that the U of the clamp is on the dead end of the line, which is the, also known as the tail end of the line. The rule of thumb with wire rope clamps is never saddle a dead horse. So I get those nice and snug on the first clamp. Then I bring the second clamp up the line, the wire over into position, and I put it right beside with a quarter of an inch or so between the first clamp. Again, I tighten the, the nuts up by hand, get them as tight as I can by, by hand, tension these up, get them nice and snug. And once snug, and and really with a good bite, you want to get you want to keep these these wire rope clamps very tight so that you don't get wire slippage, uh, which is very very important. You see the U going over the dead end of the line. You see the saddle engaging the working end of the line, which is going to the steering chain. Okay, so the anatomy of a wire rope clamp is really quite simple. I'll take this one apart so you can see it in its component parts. There are two nuts on the ends or the, on the legs, the threaded legs of the U. This is the U part of the of the clamp. Okay, this is the part that goes over the dead end of the line, okay, the tail end of the line, but we always like to call it the dead end of the line because the rule of a wire rope clamp is never saddle a dead horse. So this is the saddle that we're talking about right here. This is the other component, okay. You see the two holes in it for the U, and you can see that it's got grooves in the base of it to literally cut right in or grab a hold of that wire and, and uh, keep it from slipping. The next step, now that you have your, your wire attached to your take-up eyes, is to attach the take-up eye to the quadrant. And you do that by taking these nuts off the eye bolts put the eye bolt through the ear of the quadrant, the first nut that goes on is the nut that will increase the tension on the steering cable. So you get that down to where it's hand tight, okay? And your wire is in the groove. And then you tension this first nut, OK? 
get it very tight so that your cable is nice and snug. Once you have it adjusted where you want it, you put the second nut on and that is the nut that locks the first one into its position. So the first nut is the tensioning nut, the second nut is the nut that locks that tensioning nut in place. In the radio drive wheel your wires are going to go through the groove in this opening and it's easy to do when it's not on the rudder post but you're going to put your wire take up by through this hole so there's your wire take up by and again what I want to do is I want to make sure that I get the tensioning nut on there first and I want to add just enough tension to this so that this wire always wants to be in the groove when it's loaded or when it's lazy. The biggest concern that anyone should have if you've got play in your wheel at the dock it means that you've got play in your steering system so when one wire is loaded the other wire is the lazy wire so one wire is pulling against the load on one side of the rudder the second wire is doing nothing it is a lazy wire and if it's slack and is drooping down like this uh, when it gets reloaded it can grab on this edge and if you turn the wheel you can see that it'll drop the, the cable right out of the groove of the radial. So you want to make sure that, that this is, is a good snug fit when someone's leaning against the wheel with the rudder hard against the stops you want to make sure this wire stays in plane. You do not want it piano wire tight, you want it snug you want to make sure when you turn the wheel rim that the rudder moves at exactly the same time. This job is, is easily or more easily accomplished with, uh, with somebody holding the wheel, uh, but if you're doing the job by yourself, you tighten the wheel brake with the rudder on center, and you basically you want to tension this radial drive wheel take up eye uh, system on your radial drive wheel so you can't move the radial drive wheel with the, with the wheel brake tight and that should give you a fairly good snug setup. But always good to, te to test it with another person leaning against the wheel to make sure that that cable is, is sitting nicely in the grooves of the radial drive wheel. So what do you do when there's no take-up eye left in order to, to add more tension to your wire? What steps do you take? And so the, the first thing that you need to do, if you have slack in your cable and there's no take-up eye, no thread on the take-up eye left to, to give it any more tension with the take-up eye, then what you do is you take the tensioning nut and you back it all the way off. You first remove the, lock, the locking nut that we discussed earlier. And then you take this and you take, try and take the tension off of it so you can spin the tensioning nut on the eye bolt. One of the reasons why we don't use aircraft lock nuts is because there's a lot of thread here and you can develop a lot of heat with an aircraft lock nut and you, you, can, call, you can gall the threads and uh, really put yourself in a pickle of not being able to tension this. And it also allows you to freewheel that nut and move it all the way to the end. So now we're starting a whole new take up eye position. So we take the slack out of the line by loosening the wire rope clamps. And again, I get one right out of the way so you don't have to deal with it because the first one on is the most important in terms of making up this whole assembly. When you start with the first one you can get your assembly in place and then you can always go back and add the second 
wire rope clamp and put it in its proper position. But essentially what I'm trying to do is just get this clamp right now loose enough so that I can pull the wire through it so that I can start retensioning the system. So now I'm sliding the wire through. And I'm going to give myself a little, a little more slack here. Make the job easier. So I can make the eye bigger. And then I can start making my loop again. Bringing this down so it's right at the right at the thimble, and you can see I've increased the tail of the line now, which we will end up trimming off after we're done. Open end wrench is probably the best wrench for the job. A lot of the sockets that are small enough for this size nut don't have the depth to handle the the leg of the U-bolt. Cut that first clamp tight and I go back and I get the second clamp and bring it up into position. Putting the saddle, keeping the saddle over the live end of the line. Now I've got both clamps. I like to put a little bit of space between them. I'm going to tension the second clamp up. So this, you, you can pull that, take a buy in, typically a little bit by hand. You get it tension, you put the locking nut on there, and then you're going to take a larger wrench and you're going to add some tension to the wire to make sure there's no sag in the wire when someone's leaning against the wheel uh, with the rudder hard against or stops. You want to make sure that the lazy cable stays right in line with the groove of that, of that quadrant or radial drive wheel.